I mean, $22,000 Ethereum is wild too, because um, that would be about 13 years after I bought my first Ethereum um, for $90. <laughs> so um, yeah, all of it's kind of wild uh, here, but um, I would say, you know, $22,000, very realistic. Now we'll look at why it's realistic, um, probably even potentially within this cycle, um, if we get really something crazy. But here, um, they also look at um, volume and how much active users we have. So um, yeah, I would say overall, it's an interesting way to look at the market. But let's do a little moon math here with our market cap calculator. So uh, let's full screen this. And we're going to go to Ethereum here. Its supply is reducing over time, but we're going to give it basically the same supply today as it will have in a year, even though it will have less supply in a year because Ethereum is deflationary now. Um, let's do some math. All right. Uh, what is current price? 20, 23.45. Um, so the market cap of ETH should be uh, 282 um, billion as of today. So let's make sure that is correct. 284. So basically, yes. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, right. That's just a, uh, obviously an example here. So the question then becomes, okay, let's calculate uh, some interesting stuff here with market cap of where we could go this cycle. And then this shows kind of some realistic moves, right? So if we go over to uh, our, oh, what do you call it? Uh, da, 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 total crypto market cap. The easiest thing we can do here, right, is look at extensions here um, for kind of good, better, best scenarios for how much market cap we could have this bull cycle, um, which the, the good scenario here would be getting to 4.4 trillion total crypto market cap then getting to two, uh, sorry, 6.6 .6 trillion and then $9 trillion of total crypto market cap. So let's assume that Ethereum and Bitcoin dominance doesn't change. Of course, Bitcoin dominance will go lower and Ethereum dominance will actually go higher uh, over the bull market. That's usually what happens when price increases. But Ethereum actually has been pretty steady between about uh, 10 to 20% of the market, uh, total crypto market cap being Ethereum's. But let's assume here, Bitcoin around 50% uh, of the market cap and Ethereum around, uh, let's say 10%, just being, or 10 to, let's do 15%, right? A little bit more. Um, so let's take a look here. In our good scenario, not crazy, nothing crazy, right? We get $4.4 .4 trillion total crypto market cap sometime here in 2025, right? So let's do a little mathemication. Uh, dun, dun, dun. 4.4 uh, times 15% is basically uh, 0.66. So 0.66 trillion, so $660 billion uh, in market cap. So about a 3x from here. So what would that be in terms of dollar value? Let's put 7,500 and see what that comes up with. A little high. Let's go 6,000. A little 55. Yeah, pretty much 5,500. So $5,500 would get us to that $660 um, billion market cap. So that's kind of your uh, base case for Ethereum this cycle.